All right, let's speak to Afande Frank Mwesigwa. He's the commander of Kampala Metropolitan Police. Good evening, Afande. Good evening, Joel. Afande, I want to begin by paying tribute to police. You know everyone is bashing you, but um, I want to begin by saying thank you for the work that you do. And I was telling you, especially this morning as I was coming to work, normally in traffic there are people who either think they're very important or they are so much in a hurry. So they want to overtake, and I saw traffic police officers stop them, arrest them, give them receipts. I literally stopped, and I said thank you to those police officers. I told them, well done. So... It's good to begin there. Well done. Thank you. All right. Now we can dig in. <laughs> I find I've been looking at uh, this order that um, has been released by your director of operations. Mm -hmm. You're saying members of parliament cannot go to other constituencies to consult, even though, by the way, when they get to parliament, they're not just MPs of, say, Kampala Central. They are national MPs. You're saying they cannot do joint consultations. What's the legal basis of this directive, I find? Uh, well, Joel, whatever we do as Uganda police is within the law. When you look at uh, the Public Order Management Act, Section 9, mm -hmm. mandates police to call out risk assessment on all factors during these meetings. Now, carrying out risk assessment on these factors means and include we have to look at the threat sometimes which is being imported from different areas and by different people. And it's the base of that that really we are coming up with. Uh, so what's the threat about a member of parliament, <laughs> say, for Kampala going to Mansaka? Because he's a member of parliament for the whole of Uganda at the end when of the day. This, uh, when this uh, uh, rally started, mm. you remember they were joint and we had no problem. However, we were focusing on their message and sometimes we would caution them. But up to yesterday, when we had the, a scenario in Kasubi, uh, per se, and, and the, of course the, the rally went on well, but towards the end, the people who were from a different constituency, totally different, were now trying to have illegal procession and also to descend to the market in Kasubi to steal the property of the people. But now, you see, the thing that, that I saw, Afande, was at, at the venue itself. And I saw politicians being gotten off the podium. And that's where all the tear gas began. I did not see any procession, Afande. No, no, they had started. They wanted to do it. Because that, those were a few meters away from the, from the site from the, of, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the meeting. And even if uh, it means dispersing, we have got that constitutional mandate to make sure once the, the, the meetings turn rowdy, once they are these defiant activities, as police must come in to regulate, so, so, that, so that we stop violence. I find that this directive, <coughs> um, section 3, I don't know why, whether to call it that, but 3G. 3 says consultations must not include the following, and G says intimidation of persons perceived to be supporting the removal of the age limit. And look, I am for this. I think that there are those people who are saying, look, let's amend our constitution, remove the age limit, they should be respected, they should not be beaten. But when as police you issue an order and your concern is only those who are in support of the removal of the presidential age limit, there's a problem with that. In Masaka the other day, there are goons. I'll call them goons because that's what they are. There are some two, three young men that are wearing these red band, uh, ribbons, and as they moved through a certain place, goons wielding sticks beat them up. When police came, I actually thought police was going to arrest the guys that were beating up these people. No, what did police do? Police arrested the about three or so young men that were having the red ribbons. So what's not in the, as you can see, there you are. Those are goons as far as I am concerned. And when police is came, instead of arresting them, they arrested the guys that were wearing red ribbons. So what's happening is that those who are, for the constitution to remain as it is, are not only being intimidated, they are being beaten, but your order is only concerned about the other ones. There's a problem with this directive of fund, isn't there? No, there's no problem. Uh, if we could even use the example here without going to massacre. Yesterday, you must have watched people uh, throwing stones at police. Why? Because, because police, we are doing our, our noble duty. Why and that is wrong, by the way, when people throw stones at you. But you see, my concern is, is even in an order that you have written down, hmm. you're clearly showing that for you, your concern is only for those who are for the removal of the age limit. Do not intimidate them. Meanwhile, and, and that's correct, by the way. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, the other ones are being intimidated, they are being beaten. You're not concerned no, about no, no, at no. all. By the, way, by, by the way, this order does not only apply to those who are against, even those who are in favor. Joint uh, con joint rallies, because these are not consultative meetings, these are rallies. Now, if you are a member of parliament of a different constituency, our assumption is you should go and consult in your constituency. Because if I'm from Kasese, what business, whom am I going to consult on this amendment bill in Kampara? They are national members of parliament because we see the member of parliament for Kampala, when he passes a law, it's not just for the people of Kampala, yeah, it's for but, those of Mbarara yeah, and But elsewhere. you see, even where, that's the where, law. They, where they come from, there is mm. a requirement for them to go and consult. That, that's what I'm saying. So what we are doing and why this order came out is because these joint uh, meetings that have been going on, mm. they have not been 
to the line and the purpose they've of They've not life. consulted. I find that my time is up, but you <coughs> say I want to use this very order mm -hmm. because section two of it is saying those MPs moving or intended to move in order to support counter counterparts or consult outside their constituencies must be stopped. So you're not even saying they should consult. You're saying they must be stopped. It's illegal. Yet here you're saying they are not consulting. So what exactly are you no, saying? No, this is not a consultation. You say a consultation must be two-way. You bring your idea, you get a feedback. But these are rallies. Somebody goes and speaks and even speaks things that are not... Is it illegal to hold rallies? No, no, it's not illegal. Mm. But for us, we are saying we have no problem. But no, you're actually saying you have a problem. You're saying no, no, must no, no, be no. stopped. No, this no, is no. the order that we, I'm reading. We are stopping mm. people who are not from those areas. We are not stopping rallies. And is that a crime? From, from, from but when they move from one place to another? Section 9 gives us mandate to call out to risk assessment. I find now, whatever you do should be within the law. That's I need law. to ask Th you this. Um, Bobby Wan, uh, the Honorable Robert Chagulani, you mm. are saying no to his concert. He's meant to have a concert, I think, in Mukono. And you're saying he's not going to have that concert. Why? Because uh, at the previous concert that he had, the concert turned out to be a public rally because he uttered out some political statements. Mm. My question to you, Afande, is it a crime? For even at a concert or even a birthday party, for example, for mm. somebody to utter a political statement, is that a crime in this country? Well, if you remember that concert, we met uh, Honorable Chagulani, and we are very clear. You say this is a music show. Music show is not partisan. Stick to the message of your music. Who defines the message? Is it you or yeah. the concert convener? No, no. Even if you are the concert convener, you see mm. the lot of police, my friend, is to prevent and detect crime. Where you, you get out of that, we must come in. So we agreed, and he agreed in principle. But in between uh, the show, he deviated and started asking those who are in favor, raise your hand. So is those that a crime, Afande? You tell me. Which, which section see, of the law do you quote when you say at you a see, concert when you for music, no, you no, cannot no, talk no. about Kojo Kwata. Remember, Kwata. when you are in music, mm. music is not partisan. Football is not partisan. When you organize these two activities, you must be conscious. So what we are saying, if you have a music show, why do you have to gauge who is in favor and who is not? About that, songs not, which have some political messages. That, that's different. Because for us, the songs were not the purpose of why we stopped him. The, the, the question was the words he uttered. And also inciting people. So not until he makes clarification. And he puts it in writing. That look, I'm going to stick to my message. Regardless of the message, the, the, the music. But if you want to bring in other political element and inciting, then that one we shall not allow it. And I that's the position. I find it Frank Moisigo as always. Thank you for talking to us. Welcome. And that was Newsnight.